I'm Lardo. And I'm Burley. We're, We're the, the Moron, Moron Brothers. Brothers. And you're watching episode 29, The Moron Cast. Well, brother, what have you been up to in the last few days? A whole bunch of stuff. You, I ain't even gonna tell you because you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Well, I'm pouring in a, concrete. Pouring concrete? Cutting backer. You know what it is in concrete that makes it get hard? <laughs> hmm? The whole world's covered in it. I mean, it's no matter what you do with it, Ain't nothing but rock dust. What makes it get so hard? Water. That's one of the things. Gypsum. 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 We ain't even got to the riddles yet. <laughs> uh, no, pouring concrete. Well, all right. I'll tell you what I did the other day. <coughs> I I was went in there and was sharpening the knives at Mama's. All them knives, you know, we, I use them. She don't use them. Lord, I'm afraid for her to get a hold of them. But especially after they got sharp, she had a little old stick thing, and I drug it through there, and I went, oh, boy. I come close to cutting my thumb. I said, man, cut his thumb easy with that. The next thing I did, look, <laughs> I cut my thumb. That comes under the definition of stupid. stupid. <laughs> yeah, really. Hey. So the first thing I did, what do you think I did? You cut yourself. Take care of coal oil or something. Yeah, I'm telling you, brother. I jumped, put put a napkin on it, went to the garage, took a coal oil lantern, poured that coal oil on that napkin, sobbed that coal oil to her. Then he got sore, did he? Never it? even got sore. You old be a doctor. Well, I have doctored a lot of things. I've castrated a lot of animals, uh, hogs and cattle and stuff. You don't need none of that. No, I ain't got no hogs or cattle. Anyway, uh, Ralph Stanley told me that one mm. time. But uh, you remember when we was kids, coal oil was a cure-all. I know my cousin one time cutting the backer, he laid his, laid the calf of his leg open with a backer knife. Mm. I mean, and my papa took his Throw that big piece of meat up on his leg, tied his handkerchief around it, spit bagger juice on it. Took him straight to the coal oil barrel back to the house. Got some old tobacco canvas he used to put on the tobacco beds. He always saved that old canvas. Got it coal oil on it, tied that on there and told him to leave it as long as he could stand it on there, leave it. It healed up without a stitch. It never even got sore. And the day he died, you could just barely see where there was a scar, and it was a terrible wound. It's a miracle. Did you ever take coal oil internally? No. Mama gave me some and sugar. Mix it with sugar for the hoop and cough, and uh, I took coal oil internally. But uh, I'd rather do it externally. But anyway, we've... Uh, we got kind of a river theme today for you here. We're gonna do a river song or two. I wrote this song and uh, my wife really likes it. Called a one line in it. It's called Living on the River. It's on uh, the True Stories album. If you like the Moron Brothers and wanna hear some true stories, this is the album to get. We've got uh, six different albums out, and this is one of my favorites. It says, true stories, we ain't lying this time. And then on the back side, we've got our hand behind our back and our fingers crossed. But anyway, living on the reading, my wife likes this song, there's one line in there. Muddy little babies with sleepy little eyes. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> fog burns off, climb out of my bed so soft, look out the window at the river going by, love living on the river, got trapped to check in the line to run, I whistle up a dog and I fetch my gun, ain't a whole lot of work to be done, love living on the river, 
Living on the river, I'm a lucky lucky man Making my living, living off the land Got a good woman, she's my best friend She makes cornbread like no one can Raising my young and playing in the river mud Raise a little garden, cut a little wood Raise a little cane when I feel good Love living on the river Down bog starts to rise. I got a muddy little baby, sleepy little eyes. Across the river, an old cow old cried, love living on the river. Tuck them all in, kiss them on the head. Me and my woman head off the bed. Thank the good Lord for all he did, love living on the river. Living on the river, I'm a lucky, lucky man. Making my living, living on the land. Got a good woman, she's my best friend. That makes cornbread like no one can. Raising me young and playing in the river mud. Raising a little garden, cut a little wood. Raising a little king, cause I feel good. Love a living on the river. Called me, I get to heaven, know what I'll see. Big old river in the front of me, you love living on the river. Where the otter and the mink and the muskrat play, and the big old fish bite every day. That's where the good Lord is gonna put me back on the river. Living on that river, I'm a lucky, lucky man, making my living, living off the land. Got a good woman, she's my best friend, I make cornbread like no one can. Raise my young and playing in the river mud, raise a little garden and cut a little wood. Great little king, I feel good, love living on the river. Great little king, I feel good, love living on the river. <laughs> living on the river, raise a little cane when I feel good. Man, that's what I do, cut wood, raise a garden, muddy little babies with sleepy little eyes. Now they're muddy little grandkids. They come down there and run up and down that river. <coughs> Come back to the house, track mud all in the house. I can blame it on them when I do it, see? Mm. They get the blame. You think that's so, you know who gets the blame. <laughs> no, Jeannie likes that song right there. I played the fiddle on that, cause it's kinda got a Cajun riff to it. Kinda sounds a little bit, so when you get the album, you'll, uh, I can't play the banjo and fiddle at the same time. But. Can't play neither one of them real good, but both of them just a little bit. I didn't see that. What about the riddles? We need to do the riddles. Let me get them out here, buddy. Yeah, get the riddles out. Right. I got something. Well, you still, you got it right there. Right well, there. I don't, yeah, go, go ahead. Get the, got to do them so we have the answer later. <coughs> okay, this first one. I'm gonna show. I'm. I got the. I'll show. I'll show them the answer. It's just you got to have pencil and paper to do this one. I'm out. <laughs> How can you plant ten fruit trees in five rows with four trees in each row? Ten fruit trees in five rows with four trees in each row. Think about that. Get your pencil and paper. That's going to be a fun one to figure out. I'll show you. How long would it take a half a mile long train to go through a half a mile long tunnel at 30 miles an hour? <laughs> a half a mile long train to go through a half a mile tunnel at 30 miles an hour. How long would it take? I got another one here. Now this one right here hits home. I've got 21 rabbits, baby rabbits right now. Three big does and one buck. You just bought a cute rabbit at a pet store. Rabbits breed one every month, once a month, every month. They deliver an average of seven babies each time. That's about what mine average. I got two of them right now that's got six. One of them's got nine. How many rabbits do you have at the end of 12 months? Just bought a cute rabbit at a pet store. Rabbits breed once every month, deliver an average of seven babies each time. How many baby rabbits you got in 12 months? I 
I don't know. The person that needs it has no need of it. The person that buys it has no use for it. The person that uses it can neither see it nor feel it. What is it? I've heard that before, but... The person that makes it has no need of it. The person that buys it has no use for it. The person that uses it can neither see it nor feel it. I know what that is. Uh, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I can see. I can uh, see. I can see it clicking in your head. Uh, I know that. All right, we'll give you all the answers to them at the end of the show. You want to go to news from home? News from home. What about what you got to read? Oh, I got good stuff here. Remember that pondering and church signs and yeah, things like yeah. that. Oh, I got. Look here. Let's see. This is kind of what this says. Common sense is so rare these days, it should be considered a superpower. Yeah, and, I agree with that. And let's see. Just because you are offending doesn't mean you're right. You know? And uh, let's see. <laughs> Polit the definition of politically incorrect. Tell the truth and use common sense. That's politically incorrect. I say you right there for Look, sure. Here, here, see if you know who wrote this. Some people's idea of free speech is that they are free to say what they like, but if anyone says anything back, that is an outrage. And he didn't even live in this country. You I, know who. I know who it is. Who is it? Well, uh, Tim. Winston Churchill. You got it right. You got it right. Um, now At the some. end of World War II, Winston <laughs> Churchill gave a speech. Everybody in the world was listening to it. It was broadcast on the radio. They was packed in the in the parking lot in the yard full there at Oxford University when he stepped. Finally, they introduced him, and every world, every person in the world was hanging on what he was getting ready to say. The end of World War II. He walks up to the microphone and this is what his speech was. Never give up. Never give up. He turned set back down. He's a great man, I think. Look here. Here's a couple of church signs. If God is making you wait, be prepared to receive more than you asked for. There you go. Brother. That's right. I agree and, with that. And the purpose of prayer is not to receive what you ask for, but to strengthen your relationship with God. Amen. Now here's a couple of little humor things here right here. I was in the big box store the other day. And yeah. this, this old gal, she had her husband, boy, she was first name. She was, she said, You lied to me. <laughs> you told me when we got married you spent the rest of your life trying to make me happy. He said, Yeah, I didn't think I'd live this long. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. And one more. Here's the, here you go. If you're wrong and you shut up, it's because you're wise. But if you're right and you shut up, it's because you're married. Ah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. How's that going? That's a good one, brother. All right, news from home. We got a little bit here. <clears throat> this comes in from Wilmore. Brother Bill Bales. Know him well. He's the pastor of the church there, a good guy, a good buddy. We went turkey hunting together. Didn't do no good, but Brother Bill was talking in the deli at Pitch's <coughs> IGA to some of the guys there eating dinner, telling about his son Travis. Said when he was 15, he asked his dad to help him get a car when he turned 16 and uh, got his license. And Brother Bill said, well, sure, if you get your grades up, read your Bible more and get that long hair cut. Get it cut right. Travis turned 16, got his license, said, Dad, how about helping with the car? Brother Bill says, well, your grades are better. I've noticed you reading your Bible more, but you haven't cut your hair. Travis said, well, according to the Bible, Jesus had long hair. He said, well, it's good that you won't try to be like Jesus, Brother Bill says, then you can walk everywhere you go just like he did <laughs> till you cut your hair. This also comes in from Fitch's IGA and Wilmore. They were all talking about crops and farming. Leonard Fitch asked David Gross 
if he had gotten any rain, David said, yeah, but it's spotty. Said he went on to say that the other day he leaned his double barrel shotgun up against a tree and it rained one barrel full and the <laughs> other barrel was bone dry. Now that's a spotty rain right there. Yes, it is. This comes in from Brooklyn. Uncle Ben had too much to drink the other night and he shot the only stoplight in Wilmore out. <laughs> the judge said he had to go to group therapy, so he did. In the first session, the therapist asked the group if anyone had seen a ghost before. Seven people raised their hands, including Uncle Ben. Then the therapist asked, has anybody touched the ghost? Well, two people raised their hand, including Uncle Ben. Then he asked, has anybody ever kissed a ghost? Uncle Ben raised his hand, the only one. The therapist said, Ben, you mean you've kissed a ghost? He said, huh? I thought you said goat. But you don't want to clean that up, did they? <laughs> All right, this comes in from High Bridge. <laughs> I don't believe I'm told that. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's news from home. Duck leg watching is known for catching big catfish out of the Kentucky River. Hoghead Turner asked him the other day at Fitch's over a big bologna fried cornbread sandwich. Don't your wife Viola like to go with you, Duck Leg? He said, yeah, but every time I take her, I can't fish right because she wants to go to the bank and make a deposit every 15 minutes. So I... <laughs> All right. Yeah, the Lord have mercy. That's the news from home. I got a couple little things I'm going to lay on oh, you right you here. Would. You know, you're older than dirt. If you remember Black Jack chewing gum and Teaberry. I remember that. What are you talking about, man? I ain't seen them. All right, you remember? I know it ain't seen them. You remember them little wax coke shaped bottles with <coughs> colored sugar water in them? Yeah. I ain't yeah. seen none of them forever. Candy cigarettes. That's, I was just going to say, my buddy said that his, his sister eats so many of them candy cigarettes that he got secondhand diabetes. <laughs> Soda pop machines that dispense glass bottles. Yeah, that ain't been that long. Coffee shops or diners with a tableside jukebox. Yeah, right Man, there. Yeah. Flip that little thing. Ain't Pitches. that bringing back memories to you? That's, that's hit <clears throat> home, ain't it? Home milk delivery in glass bottles with cardboard stoppers. Yep. Right. Man, I remember them. We had them in school, Ross Cave School. Party lines on the telephone, sure. News reels before the movie. PF flyers make you run faster, yeah. jump higher, go faster. Run, yeah, jump higher, running. run faster. Butch <coughs> wax. Yeah. <laughs> flat yeah that's hitting thing. home, man. <coughs> TV test patterns that came on at night after the last <laughs> show and were there until TV shows started again in the morning. There was only three channels. If you're lucky, remember pea shooters. Yeah. Howdy Doody. Yes, Cindy. Claire Bell. Claire Bell. Buffalo, Buffalo Bob. 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 Uh, howdy Doody. Did it's you see howdy the doody last? Time. Did you see the last I Howdy did, Doody I show? I didn't cry. What I happened? Cried. What happened right at the very end? The clown Claire Bell that never said a word it, in it, all the career of Howdy Doody, the last thing they showed was Claire Bell went. Goodbye, Bye. kids. I cried. I hit the floor, I boy. I run, I run I run outside and wanted to throw rocks and everything. Yeah. Remember 45 RPM records? S and H greed stamps. Yep. High fives. Metal ice trays with a lever. Yep. I still got some then. I just thought that hit home to a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Well I think something not it ain't it, but something we used to do. What? Kick a can. Oh yeah, nobody does that no more. I'll kick the can all, all over next field. And I ain't seen a kid <laughs> kick a can. Now I'm about ready to kick the bucket. <laughs> all, right. all right. What are we going to do now? Well, well, we got another river song right, here. Right? Y'all might have heard this one right here. When we made this album, and it's on the uh, on tour album. Got a picture of the tour bus on it. And it's the only one we got that's got jokes on it, too. But... Uh, when we made this album, 
Uh, Danny Bailey said, have you got another song you can put on here to kind of even things out? And, <coughs> and I had this song that I wrote years ago, and, and uh, we run through it just a little bit. It didn't go through the whole song, and we done it and nailed it the first time, and I guess it's probably got more airplay on the radio than anything on the album, but it's called Kentucky River Bullfrog. <laughs> I got a frog in my throat. Sound like he's making a croak. <laughs> I've been working all day in the hot, hot sun. I can't hardly wait for night to come. It's a hot you can't sleep, it's hotter than far. You ought to hear that old Kentucky. You ought to hear that old Kentucky River bullfrog holler. Shoot him in the leg, he's wearing my coat. Are we keeping you awake over? No, the mama just woke you up. Didn't yeah, you? he woke me up. Thought he shot at me. Yawned all day, what's going on with you? Didn't get much sleep last night. Why is that? When the shade was up in the window. Why didn't you pull them down? He's in the window across the street. <laughs> Kentucky River Bullfrog, bigger than the ground on Holler that coon dog barking on the tree. Catch him with your bare hand, throw him in the brown man. Took a river bullfrog, mighty good to eat. <laughs> Well, me and my uncle in a little John boat Got so many frogs that the boat won't float We cleaned them all and we took them in And you ought to see my old pappy grin Kentucky River Bullfrog bigger than a groundhog Holler like a coon dog barking on a tree You catch him with your bare hand, throw him in the frying pan Took a river bullfrog, a mighty good to eat <laughs> Well, me and my uncle in a car by the light Travel down the river in the pale moonlight We catch a mess of bullfrog Take a home to mom We eat and frog legs when the morning comes Kentucky River bullfrog Bigger than a groundhog Holler like a coon dog Barking on a tree Catch him with your bare hand Throw him in the frying pan Took a river bullfrog Mighty good to eat We took about all the frog we was gonna take Uncle Reach for a frog. Come up the snake, flung that snake down in the floor, hit him in the head with my bull door. And took a rebel bullfrog bigger than a groundhog, holler like a coon dog barking on a tree, catch him with your bare hand, throw him in the frying pan, took a rebel bullfrog, mighty good to eat. <laughs> All right, folks. What we're gonna do the riddles? And what I don't understand sign language. My wife tries to talk to me in sign language. I let it go in one, one eye, and out, one eye and out the other. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, go on. They uh, no. You need to tell them about. They might want to buy something. You ever thought all about right, that? All right, all right. Then that's what I'm gonna do. Go to the Moron Brothers Store dot com. You can get everything we got there. You can get bologna hats. You can get CDs. You can get DVDs. There's a place you can tip us. I mean, not tip us over like a cow or something they talk about, but not that, I mean, but we need need a little bit of support. Buy something to keep us going with this right here. We ain't got a whole lot of money coming in on the kind of coronavirus, but we're, we're making it a whole lot better than most people in the world. And we're fortunate the good Lord has blessed us. But uh, we could use your support. Just nothing else. Just let us know that you're enjoying it so we can keep doing it. And uh, the moronbrothersstore.com is where you can get all that stuff and check it out. I thank you for your support. Now we're going to go to the riddles. 
All right. We got the riddles. I like these riddles. I like riddles. All right, that's the first one. How do you plant 10 fruit trees in five rows with four trees in each row? I know. Oh, you've seen it in there. I wrote it down. You've seen it. No, I ain't. I ain't tell me it. how then. I ain't got no pencil or paper to draw it down on. Go ahead and tell them. That's what I thought. Put them like a star right there. See that star? Yeah. There's, there they are. Four in a row. Five rows. And ten fruit trees. That's how you get that done. That's a good mess with your kids with, you know. Yeah. How long would it take a half a mile long train to go through a half a mile long tunnel at 30 miles an hour? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes? Dang. Fifteen seconds. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Thirty miles an hour. Well, that's what I meant to say. If he's going 60 miles an hour, it'd take one minute. Yeah. That's 30 what I, miles an hour, it'd take him two minutes. That's what I was thinking, two minutes. You what just bought a cute rabbit at a pet store. And he tasted good, too. He, hey, with what? With gravy no, and biscuits. Hey. You just bought a cute rabbit at a pet store. Rabbits breed one every month and deliver an average of seven babies each time. How many rabbits do you have at the end of 12 months? 35. One. It takes two to tango, and you just bought one. Yeah. Move on. I raise rabbits. I know that. <laughs> I got a buck rabbit, I'm telling you, boy. He's stronger than a garlic milkshake. <laughs> uh, the person that makes it has no need of it. Mm -hmm. The person that buys it has no use for it. And the person that uses it can neither see nor feel it. What is it? Casket. I, I did not you get, are smarter than the average moron. I didn't get where I am today but being stupid. I walked in on him the other day. He was sitting on the couch looking at the television and it wasn't turned on. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how ornery he is. I said, what are you doing? He said, I think I'm going crazy. But I changed my mind. I said, well, you need to wipe your nose. He said, which side? That's ornery right there. I said, how long have you suffered from mental illness? He said, I ain't suffering, I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, boy, I don't know what I'm going to do with you, brother. <clears throat> well, it's about time to wrap things up, don't you think? Or I'm on a, you got something? No, I'm good. I'm, I hope they watch it. Yeah. And tune in again next time. Had a lot of uh, response from the J.D. Crow show. Yeah. A lot of response around home. And uh, J.D. wants to do that again. He said, you can't talk about a man's career in, in 20 minutes. <laughs> and he had a lot more stuff we didn't ask him about. So we might do another J.D. Crow cast. He wants to do it again. I think he wants us to take us Bob, take him Bob Evans again and get something to eat. But, yeah. but anyway, <clears throat> I think we need to uh, wrap this thing up. Don't forget to go to the moronbrotherstore.com. And I hope we've done something to help you forget all your troubles and taxes and daggone politics and garbage in the world that's going on. Quit and watching the news, you'll feel a lot better. Quit watching the news, exactly right. I, I, I'll watch the weather and then I'll flip over to hunting show or fishing show or something. <laughs> or go feeding my rabbits and chickens. But I got two new chickens. I got two big white rock chickens now. Uh -oh. uh, they ain't full grown yet, but hoss, they're going to they gonna lay an egg big as your fist. I can tell. All right, let's close this thing out in prayer. Thank you, folks. Thank Let us know if you had a good time here today. It's your turn, I believe. Dear Lord, we thank you again for another day and the blessings that you've given us. We pray for a nation. We pray for the whole world that you'll take this virus away. 
those that are sick and suffering, their families that lost loved ones to this virus, Lord, pray you be with them. We pray that you'll take care of this nation and save our nation. Give us government leaders that will bring this nation back to you. Amen. Yes. And we thank the Lord for all your many blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.